Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the various types of receivables companies may encounter as they conduct their business. So here we have it. First and foremost, accounts receivable. This is probably the most common type you'll see in any company. Um, accounts receivable are short-term uh, monies owed by customers in the normal course of business. So essentially, when you sell something um, to a customer, uh, that customer can choose to pay you on the spot in cash, or they can choose to say, you know, charge it to my account. And at that point, the customer owes you money that they have to pay later. And that is what's known as an account receivable. It doesn't matter whether you're a service company or a sales company, as long as this is occurring with your customers in the normal course of your business, you would tend to call it an account receivable. Um, notice I have in here trade receivables written in parentheses next to that. Sometimes you will hear um, this alternately referred to as a trade receivable, a receivable um, as part of conducting your trade, your business. All right, second up, notes receivable. Notes receivable are typically long-term monies owed. Now, I use the word long-term there um, um, loosely because notes receivable could be current. They could be short-term by accounting standards. Um, but typically, when you have a note, it's because you want to pay over a period of time. So long-term money owed to you that is recorded on an official debt instrument. So whereas an account receivable is just normal course of business, um, customer says charge my account, they pay you later, with a note receivable, you actually have a written debt instrument that 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 binds the parties. One party promises to pay the other party certain amount on a certain day, possibly a certain interest rate, so forth and so on. Last up, other receivables. So other receivables are monies owed to you outside of the normal course of business and not recorded in a note. If it's in a note, it's going to be called a note receivable. If it's not in a note, but it is money owed to you for some reason, that's just going to get kind of the name of the thing tag on the word receivable. So I have some examples here. Interest receivable. So you loan someone money and you rack up interest as part of them owing you money. That's interest receivable. Or say you have investments and those investments pay dividends. Dividend receivable. Say you're getting a refund on your taxes. Taxes receivable. So forth and so on. All right, that's it. That's the most common types of receivables that you are going to see um, as far as companies just doing their normal uh, course of business. Um, hopefully you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.